Suleiman Ghani, the honourable member for Tooting, has appeared on a platform with him nine times. This man supports IS. He even shared a platform. But, Mr Speaker, I think they are shouting down this point because they don't want to hear the truth. Well, people are calling Prime Minister, UK Prime Minister David Cameron, a racist after he accused London's Muslim mayoral candidate Sadiq Khan of the Labour Party of having links to ISIS. But London could be on the verge at this very second of electing Khan their first Muslim mayor. Joining me now is Zudi Jasser and Mike Gauss. Uh, Zudi, I want to start with you. A lot of different things here. Now, on one hand, uh, you, you know, you've got a, a Muslim who may become the, a mayor of one of the major cities in the West. I mean, with one of the longest histories. Uh, and then there's people who will say, this is a great thing. This is a sign that multiculturalism works. What do you say? Well, I mean, absolutely. Uh, if he happens to be Muslim, that's great. That is a sign that multiculturalism works and that it's a, we have a fabric of community involved in politics. But this is not just any old Muslim. This is an Islamist. If you look at his history, he supported the waving of Louis Farrakhan's uh, uh, inability to come to Britain. Over 15 years, he was banned. He defended him. He's defended Islamists at Cage, an organization which was, which is uh, um, ridiculed because of its support of ISIS uh, sympathizers like Mzawi and others. So this is not just any typical Muslim. This is an Islamist supporter who really has blocked reform. And yes, he's a human rights attorney, but he's never defended the rights of Muslims against those who've been abused by other Muslims. Only rights of Muslims who've been abused by Brits and others. So I see this guy as an obstacle to reform and counterterrorism and really does not represent Muslim communities well. So then on the other hand, Mike, maybe this is a prime example of what people are worried about. Uh... Uh, eventually, uh, such an overwhelming Muslim population coming in uh, and, and inserting their own uh, first, in, in, first in positions of power and then later on perhaps chipping away at, at cultural norms. What do you see? Well, this is the biggest historical night tonight in the, in the UK. This is the first time after the United States, yeah, it, democracy has really been coming to, United, to the United Kingdom. It is a country of aristocracy where people don't have a chance. Here, the Brits, the, the English people are selecting somebody who is not an aristocrat, son of a bus driver, one. Number two, he's also from the minority well, are you community. Worried? Are you worried, Mike? Let me just jump in because we understand the historic uh, nature of it all. That, that, that Everyone agrees it's historic. But what some people are saying is you've got a guy who called moderate Muslims Uncle Tom's. I mean, is that who really you want to be the representative? Is that who you want to be the first Muslim leader of a Western city? Is he going to be the right person? Because if he fails and if he proves himself to be something of, of a firebrand and, and something who someone who's not about inclusion, then I think it hurts your cause. Charles, he has gone through the vetting process. It just didn't happen overnight. He has gone through the process <laughs> of election. Process? And finally... The, the election process, people have elected him. What's wrong with it? Let democracy prevail. Democracy in any form is democracy. When people Mike. elect him, let him be the, let him be the elected mayor of London. He Mike. may have some. Mike, do you have? Mike, do you have no filter at all about what we're fighting? This guy has never said anything about the Saudi regime, the Khomeinis in Iran, the, the blasphemy laws all over the world, not to mention the Sharia courts in England he's been silent on. So to say that we as Muslims, we don't care who goes up and becomes the mayor. In actuality, he is going to be a step backwards generations for Muslims because he's going to make Brits think that we are all Islamist apologists for theocracy, when in fact that is not an advance forward. So please... Please speak for yourself when you think that these types of Muslims are going to help the diversity in Britain, when in fact he's going to continue to separate the community out and make them entrenched into balkanization rather than actual true uh, assimilation. Mike? But Charles, he is represented by people. He's not elected by a few Muslims. He's elected at large. And with that election with representing so much so much a big community he cannot be an extremist extremist they would have rejected right off the bat but your and this definition is, of if he if he has not condemned Mike, saudi definition, arabia your, 
But, but Mike, your definition of extremism, every time somebody, including the prime minister, tried to criticize him, he threw up the flag of bigotry, Islamophobia, all this other nonsense, and calling the race card, rather than actually expressing a defense of well, why he is against Islamism. He's been so vague, it is absurd. Gentlemen, I, do, I will well, say, so we, and has, he listen, has we all know, like Mike, that, he should be challenged. He should be challenged instead of putting him down. Mike, we all I'm know doing, how historic this will be. And we all know that people, is will be, people will be watching very closely. London, one of the great cities of the world. If this guy messes it up, he messes it up for a long time. I, I appreciate proud both of the of you democracy. Gentlemen. This all is right. the biggest sign of democracy. Thank you. I Thanks am a lot, very Zudi. proud of this. Thanks a lot, Mike. Thanks. In the meantime,